Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new to the channel guys, click subscribe. So for today's video, we'll be talking about Splinterlands and more specifically about the AMA. So I'll not be dealing uh, about all of the summary. So we have here the Splinterlands AMA summary which was written by uh, Rosie W guys. So if you want to have a full look at the recent AMA or what we'll be calling Town Hall, uh, just click on the description so I'll link the blog post of Rosie W for Splinter Talk about the AMA summary so let's start so Splinterlands AMA summary for November uh, 19 so please note I cover as much as I can so this is uh, the summary which uh, was uh, able to uh, take note of Rosie W so, as a summary, as a record of the conversation, I do not provide my opinion but actual conversation that occurs during the AMA. So, the summary will have the questions provided from the Discord and answers given by the various Splinterlands team, while uh, will be typed by me. Please forgive any typos and errors. Some may be from Discord or some may be own. Okay, so... Personal note as well, uh, happy Thanksgiving if we, do, if we don't see each other very before then. I hope the holiday is safe and wonderful for you and your family. So probably she'll have her vacation uh, for some time. So the AMA will be called a town hall. Okay, So this is a uh, big change in terms of the uh every friday event so the ama will be called a town hall so you can read the full disclosure of the splinterlands here so just click on the button it's in here guys so basically the town hall is for the specific agenda as well as the rules and will be viewable on discord twitch and or youtube so the present are agroed uh matt Special guest was Homestead Hacker, uh, Hardpoint, and then Nate. So, let's start. So, we have the update from Matt. And then, with regards to this one, I think the important one is about the SPS. So, Hardpoint uh, will do server update. And now, Matt will uh, take on more design aspects of things. for focus on Chaos Legion, SPS governance, and land. And actually, uh, if I recall it right, uh, attending the town hall guys after the chaos legion um the next uh one that they'll be focusing is on lands the land expansion so again uh they said that having your sps and having it stake is a good part of being a player for splinter land so go and stake your sps guys so um, Chaos Legion update so I, I'll, I'll move from this one from Agrod's update so basically it's on the uh, the sale so some big deals so the goal is to try to get as many as people into the game as possible I love about the guilds is there uh, are organized groups of 80 to 100 people together they'll already play Axie and they have tons of players and it's really exciting to get people like YGG in here actually YGG I've been to YGG and a lot of players are in YGG playing for Splinterlands people are calling this a private sale but I don't like that term I'm just making a bigger volume of sales my goal is generally one level of volume discounts that make the public and make that available to as many players as possible and that's the goal so basically this is just to clarify on the private sale guys so the Chaos Legion update uh, this is uh, the current uh, hours remaining during those this this time. So 592,000 packs were sold, uh, according to Agro. That's bigger than the alpha sale, and it's two thirds of the beta sold. So this is basically already bigger than the beta sale that took two years. So we're thrilled. So and then guys, on December 8, this is an important note. You'll be able to use the cards in the battle for the chaos and another 2 million packs will be available for sale. And vouchers will be dropped at a double rate. 
and still needed to buy packs. The wild and modern format will come later. So, no specific date. We have the voucher drop. Continue to make sure that everyone has a chance to get some packs and still drive value to the SPS token. So, still uh, the vouchers will be needed for the 2 million packs and the rate will be 2 times. The rest of the sale, after the 2 millions are sold, uh, it won't require any vouchers but you will need vouchers for uh, bonus packs so if you want to get bonus packs you'll be needing um, the vouchers if you want to have the bonus Matt said there will be plenty opportunity in getting the Chaos Legion packs during the general sale you, you won't get any as many airdrops and so I understand that people are worried about the first million packs to lose uh, those airdrops we are thinking of giving a sort of time period like if you purchase in the first 24 hours you would still have to access to those airdrops so we don't want a situation where everyone has to be on the and smash that button to get those packs we want to make sure everyone who is waiting is able to have an opportunity so private sales realistically every pack sale is a private sale users pay splinterlands through paypal or cryptocurrency so the payment is also behind the scenes and in the cases where people want to make larger payments and PayPal isn't feasible, you work with them and that's fine but there's no benefit over others. These people are not getting around the voucher system or getting airdrops. So this is just an update with regards to the private sale that we talked about on our previous video. So they have a special guest, actually it's Homestead Hacker. So it's about having uh, an improvement in terms of the Discord. So we'll move from other aspects in terms of. And again, guys, if you want to uh, read the full article, this is kind of long, so as you can see in the uh, drop bar. But uh, I'm just making this a summary. So with regards to Richard Hardpoint, the update for. Uh, engineering so we have him here and then this is what will be having most uh, the eye candy from Nate so Nate drop on new cards that will be included in the Chaos Legion packs so we have here Kelia so a dwarf under the water uh, splinter we have Way brood, so water element. Notice the tiny uh, boat. He's epic. He's pretty powerful. Diamond shark. So you can see here. Uh, according to Nate, uh, the inspiration for this one is, I, I mean, it it was like the transformers from the enemies coming from the sky. So it was like that. And then river. Helon Dale, the summoner for water. And then we have Fire Splinter Tarsa, the Psycho Girl summoner. We have Molten Ash Golem. We have Jin Inferni. We have another Jin, guys. It's in here. So they will be on the upper levels of the gameplay. Really think this one is the nicest looking cards. He is mad that the death Jin betrayed Splinterlands, so he is confi uh, focused on a showdown with him. And then we have Ifrit Rising. Look at the uh, horns and the claws, guys. And then we have uh, animation and stats. We have Shadow Snitch in here. So this is his stats, and this is his animation. We have Jin Inferni for the wallpaper and the animation and then we have acid shooter stats so for acid shooter stats we have a new ability which is the scatter shot so we'll randomly hit an enemy monster but according to them uh, it will definitely hit a monster so it could be uh, a good aspect in terms of the ones that don't have a shield at the back lines or perhaps he'll shoot uh, a monster with a shield so we do not know but still uh, it's a good uh, add up especially uh, on the higher level because of the poison ability and the cripple so 
Now about the land and rich waters, land is all on course. We're working forward with land and going to such a much larger project. So after the uh, Chaos Legion, which is uh, right in front of us, after that, they'll be focusing more on the lands. So basically guys, if you want to read on the full article uh, written by our fellow curator, we have here Rosie W. It's on the link uh, on the description guys. So it's just a summary of what I take in terms of the a uh, AMA slash uh, which will be called now the Town Hall. An update for all about uh, Splinterland. So again guys. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and then shout out to all the subscribers and to the NGSP, to the KRSM, to the ZGG, to the Flirians, and also to the Wolf's Den supporters, guys. And on the month end, we'll be having a giveaway for a scholarship. So watch out for that, for the instruction, guys. So spread the word, click subscribe. See ya!